A holiday favorite for many people is picking out their Christmas trees. But what do you do with that tree when the holidays are over? Our Kayla Carlisle found out how you can dispose of your live trees while also helping the environment. Nikki Southers from Huntsville Botanical Garden says there are several ways to get rid of your Christmas tree. Of course, one way to dispose of your tree is just simply sitting it on the curb for essentially a trash pickup. But that's going to send your tree straight to the dump. Recycling your tree is an alternative that can be both helpful and fun to do. One way Southers says to recycle your tree is to just replant it outside. And then once it's kind of finished and the needles start dropping, what you would do is just go ahead and cut that into smaller pieces, keep it off the ground, and then you have you some firewood for camping for the summer. But if you aren't looking to keep up with firewood, another way to repurpose your tree requires knowing someone who lives near a body of water. Somebody with a lake property, um, they do use a lot of the Christmas trees for spawning, so they'll put weights on, on them and let them drop to the bottom of the lake. So there are some situations where people would use them for recycling for that also. Okay. The trees build up the habitat in the water, which is useful to sea life. But this recycling technique isn't one that everyone can use. We don't want to have, we don't want to flood the lake with things like that. So it needs to be somewhere where somebody's planning on doing a spawning area so that it's not in the way of boats or anything. And if the first few options weren't meant for you, the last way to reuse your Christmas tree is one that will make those hungry little birds outside thankful for your recyclable. And you take that cut tree and you plant it outside and you put bird seed on it, food, fruit, and go ahead and let it kind of live out the rest of the winter as this live tree. Putting the Valley first, I'm Kayla Carlisle, WZDX News.